aggression and he's about to get a lot of attention heading his way he's peeked out wide and he's going to be able to fall back here comes the flash he's sticking around it bounces off the corner rain's taken out oh what a shot from guardian he's starting it out with two quick headshots absolutely outrageous more to come as cold Sierra takes one fall in return and just like that it's a three on three trying to fight for the smoke not really connecting phelps has taken down all of meister in the meantime that means nico and kerrigan and really only nico given the health situation here it's got to come and work some kind of miracle. You'd think with that double kill from Guardian, that would be the end of the round, but not in a high-level game like this one. A bomb is planted, and they do have a kit on Kerrigan. He has no armor and is low on health, and that is an absolutely massive problem for them. He's trying to see if he can sneak his way in. Nico making his way on the other side. SK, are they going to wait? Not for much longer. Phelps will take one down. Nico's next, and SK. Okay, SK is just going to take this fast. They're already walking up all five players towards this A bomb site. This can be dangerous on Cash. Just a simple pop flash through the smoke can sometimes do the trick. And there's Fur coming up. Nico was above, and he was ready for it. He's got Taco down to half HP as well, and that puts a stop to everything. Really does. Grenade. Can do some damage onto Phelps at least. Would love to have all of my stuff followed up taking down Phelps now. SK are just bleeding players and they need some sort of comeback into the round. Tapping away in the middle is Carrigan, but Fallen is going to best him on. They get caught by, Car by Guardian. That's a nice return into the round there. Cold Sierra and Taco. They shouldn't be given a chance to get back into this. Two versus four is where, as FaZe, you just want to lock down the defense. Yeah, and the final boss of SK, Cold Zera. Still dangerous in this because you have to remember even even any kill go to the economy of phase is huge So you want to stop the bleeding Cold is being patient 45 seconds left plenty of time to find something but guardian reads the play Rain's pushed all the way through B. He's gonna wrap around taco eventually and they've already spotted him out Guardian can go for another peek and almost loses his life. He just bails out of that fight doesn't want it whatsoever Taco looking for the response, which would be that B flank in the mid and the A bomb site. But now comes the real hit. And actually, Kerrigan and Guardian are going away. I think the timing of this has lured them off, thinking that it's a big wall on top. It's the opening kill again. Molotov's out. You can see him to force players into the open, but no one's there. SK still has nothing. All up holding strong, but there goes Nico. Taco entering in. The pre fire doesn't work, and Guardian's got to back away from the fight. Two in extremely good kills there coming out of Taco. Opening up the bomb site in spite of them losing the early one. That's fallen with the flick, taking down Kerrigan, even though he's down to 12 health. This is a very early reset coming out of the SK side. Guardian and Rain, they have to back off. They just can't keep this up. Spray long range. Oh my god. Still gets the kill though. Bit of a miss, and now Phelps goes down. I don't think he realized how exposed he was from the middle. They just don't have enough time, really. I mean, that's a big problem. They would have to run all the way onto the site. And yeah, they don't even have a kit, so they... I mean, great kills, and it made it interesting for a minute, but too much time it already passed. There's Rain picking up one more kill, so they win the round. They lose four members, and FaZe get to keep the AK and the... AK. Love for them to come up. Absolutely. There is no other prevention, but it doesn't matter. That's an easy headshot. Olaf never knew what hit him. Rain is now on the other side thinking, if I just, if I get the timing right, this can work. They might not realize it's a second player there. And I realize it, but Fur's got it red, at least to the point where he's got his eyes on it. And he'll stay there, surely, for some time while his teammates rotate back. He's got to protect Fallen, who can't really react with the AWP if Rain was to pop up. So he's waiting for the sound cue to cause it. You can see Rain considering there's the peak. Fur can't get it with the spray, but he forces Rain off, and he does his job. He prevents Fallen from being taken down, and Rain's going to be stuck in middle. That's why Nico rotates over, and they're caught off guard. So many players from FaZe here. Taco's going to make his move because of that communication, and he's got another kill under the A-bomb site. 12 health. They don't have any grenades to get rid of him. That's a really unfortunate situation here, but it is a three-on-three. -three. FaZe one back in this game quick. They're going to have to do it now. There's Rain picking up one kill. A lot rides on this, their entire economy into this round. Fur and Fallen now left. And the bomb has been planted there. Fallen gets the spray on one right through the smoke as Kerrigan comes charging in. It's Fallen with a spray, taking another headshot. And that leaves Rain, one versus two. He's tapping the bomb again. Flashbang is in. Rain with a headshot. Now he's going to hold it down. Oh, the Molotov on top. He's going to have to push out, running for it. And the pre fire is in. Fur reads it so well. Survives on nine health with a double kill. Last ditch effort. Something new. 
Nico pop punches himself into the door. Jesus, Taco is just on point. Now, he's got to be careful. He obviously doesn't know this, but Olaf has the angle with that door open. Player, as uh, wise as Taco will know that door is open, you can see him shoulder peeking. Olaf gets into a new position, looking for fur. Smoke is out, Molotovs and flashbangs as well. Sees the player, gets the kill as well. Very important there, but Guardian goes down. Fallen taking him, and he's already pushed into that boost corner. Now Smoke to get out. Almost looked like he was being tracked there. Very well done by Olaf Meister, but doesn't pull the trigger. Carrigan will take down Cold Zero, though, even if he's low. This will be interesting to see how SK does this. They have Phelps boosted up, Reigns on the flank as well. Allow Taco. They want to go back to his position that he's been holding. This is a big fight for Phelps, and he wins it onto Kerrigan. Rain now coming from behind. The assassin finds him. It's into a two on two. There's 45 seconds left, though. And I think Taco is just going to be left here at door, maybe to make some kind of noise. No, he's actually going to come join up with Fallen. So 30 seconds left for SK to make this work. And FaZe, they have to split up. Rain is at B. Olaf is backing up to truck at A. Right now, as you can tell, the chess game is in full effect right now. They're not quite sure what's happening, but they are moving all the pieces all across the map here. And it's got very difficult to figure out what's going on. Fallen has an unbelievably deep mind for this kind of game, and he's made his way up highway. If he can just block off all of Meister, that might be it. Only 10 seconds. All of Emus gets the kill, but the headshot's in. Fallen takes him down. He had everything working for him there, the perfect position. And now, Rain. It's alone in a one versus two. They already put out the models off there to try and hold him back. That's such a dirty peek. Rain moving into position here. He's going to have to go quick because he has to find both. Big chance there. Molotov to follow it up might force it out, but is there going to be some backup here? Fallen, his feet are on fire. The spray is in, and Taco's just waiting, covering the line, and that might have been the right. It's not uncommon for teams at the caliber of phase to sort of just need one round, and that ignites a lot more. So we'll see if that is exactly what's going to happen here. Good kill there for Guardian. Falls back immediately. Not going to get caught either. And that makes a lot of sense. They've even boosted all of my drop into the corner. There's Guardian again. Taking down Fur. And more to come. Triple for him. All right. Keep the lemmings coming. Right into their doom. Well, Cold and Taco. Maybe a more iconic duo as they come out of vents. Kerrigan's going to take one out. Cold does trade it away. He's got 13 HP. So FaZe finally going to be able to string two together. It's do they want to sit here? It's interesting to see. Ooh, there's a nice peek from Fallen. I don't even know if Guardian was even scoped in. He definitely didn't look prepared for it. That's a big opening kill. Gonna force some movement in this defense. I think nico has been boosted up. Yes. He knows Taco loves this door as well. Let's see what's going to happen. So much play around this one area. Obviously, very hard to throw a Molotov up there without being exposed from a main, so people tend not to even try and do that. Question is, are they going to get the good peek in? A little bit of a smoke in. Molotov coming out from Taco. 40 seconds now. Counter flashes are coming in. He can't see a thing, but no one's checked it. Nico, that might be a big mistake coming out of SK. Phelps is down with the bomb. The spray continues. A big double kill coming through, and Olaf is still on the side. There's 30 seconds left. Three on three. Did Nico do enough? That's the big question. They cannot lose this game or this round eight phase. That's going to be a big problem for them. Rain, he's going to get dropped, but Olaf is still hiding back here. I'm not sure they realize that he's actually there. Kerrigan, he's got the lineup. He sees the gun barrel, and that's an easy kill on Fallen. Now down to 10 seconds. And Taco, still a bit paranoid, but he's got to go for the bomb. Oh, my God, what a peak taking the headshot. And Olaf is down. I can't believe it. Now it's Kerrigan. The bomb down has to walk into this crossfire. He misses the shot, and he's not going to get a chance for a second one. Taco is out of control. He's just waiting to get taken out, so Rain has to have some kind of a presence here. If he gets forced back by a Molotov, here's Olaf. He's actually taking out, and oh, no. The timing towards mid and up top. He gets so much damage onto Cold, but it's really awkward as he turns around the corner. Oh, Nico walking away just as they turn. Now, Fur has managed to creep in here. This is almost impossible to guess. I'm not sure why that Molotov goes up, but maybe that means now they're definitely not going to check the corner. Taco gets dropped in the meantime by Nico. But how would you ever guess that Fur was going to be there? You've just heard the Molotov go down. If they come back and look, they're going to walk right into it, and that's exactly what SK want right now. Phelps pushing on out. He's going to walk into the line of the AWP. Deep Molotov goes in. 17 seconds as they try and see if they can make their way in. First drop. Next in line is Fallen, and that's going to be the round in favor of FaZe here. 10. See it. Get all your friends involved. 
Phelps is alone on the bomb site all the way in the back, so first point of contact, and <laughs> what the hell is going on? Guardian taking him down. Phelps didn't even click the button there. Fur is going to be next. That's Rain with a headshot. And now Fallen Nose peeking up against this truck. That might be a little bit dangerous. He's actually going to run onto the side, trying to take one for the team. This is a deep play, looking for the headshot, but instead he's down to nine health, and he's going to go down to Guardian. This seems completely locked in here from FaZe. I mean, when you start a round off with Guardian just blowing off Phelps' head immediately, it's going to be rough for you. That kill right there pretty much seals it. Taco's on the flank, and they all know it. Noloff doesn't even let him get close. Six to badly. Up the smoke to put out the fire if it does come in, and you can see it here. Now what does he do? He peeks out, and that's exactly why. Guardian poised perfectly to punish that in Phelps. Say it here, and it pops up there, Moses. <laughs> It's a magical world. Well, Phelps, it's about to be a tough time. Guardian spawns. The Olaf's going to spray through. He somehow gets the kill. It's not worth it, though. Only one and done. And now Nico's going to make his move in the middle, and he finds the kill on Cold Zera and Vents. The one and two player going at it, and there it is. Taco down as well. Nico's starting to shine now that he has the space to do it. And Guardian's going to finish. You can tell that he's very confident as well, just pushing all the way in. Can you find anything? Rain is going to lead the charge with a little bit of backup from behind. More grenades flashing their way into the site. This cold zero goes down. Next in line is for Rain has cracked it wide open. Phelps lurking in the smoke. Bomb has been planted. Not coming through. It just disappears. Now he's out in the open. He gets in a fight with Kerrigan. Surely he can take him down. Can't find his way around the corner of the wall. That scout. It's got a couple tags, but it's not finding any of the kills. Even Taco in middle. He's going to find Olaf, actually. That's a nice one dig to, to grab right at the end and save that AK-47, because that's all you got. At this point, that's much better than nothing. When you're this low on money, you, you really need every little bit, because this could easily go all 30 rounds. So when you get down to, you know, that 28th, 29th round, you start to, to really need the extra thousand somewhere. Yeah. It seems like it's really turned, hasn't it? SK Gaming have not won a single round in this. Cold Zero, if he gets a grenade, that is just an absolute nuclear bomb on the phase team. That's a good way to get open now. Can they follow it through? Taco caught sw swapping between the guns. I have no idea why that was happening. He was just flicking back and forth, and he has no chance to even reply. They're going to go for Cold Zero. He's actually, I think, inside the smoke from the grenade, so they couldn't even see him. And as a result, all of Meister does go down. But Guardian's got to line up. Got to be careful here, otherwise it could be a two for one. That AWP goes right through the wall. And Fur is going to go down anyway. Oh my god! What is happening? Guardian taking down Fur. That was, um... Yeah, that was a highlight <laughs> shot. Yeah, why not? You're right, it might have almost been a double through the wall, but... That's so tough. Taco's had a phenomenal game so far up to this point. Just gets caught off guard after throwing that monstrous nade. Reloading, switching weapons, trying to get back to it, and just the timing isn't with him. None of SK really feeling the timing. It's a complete reversal from the first half. And now it's FaZe's turn to just beat him down. Rain is going to get taken. Uh, sneaking on in. This is the big play, and this is what he's so well known for. The aggressive play. Easy kill there on Olofmeister. And now, he can just... Maybe slide back on out. That's so smart as well. The, the, the follow-up smoke just block him off from mid and, and just retreat through the B bomb site, which he knows is safe because he just killed the one player there. The response from FaZe hit the same bomb site ASAP. They get through. Cold Zera is able to grab Rain. SK could start turning this around. Phelps gets the information. Hold strong inside the bomb site. That's Nico coming out door. There's really not a whole lot of bodies that FaZe can throw at this still. Kerrigan has to make a play. Guardian's got one kill with that AWP. Again with the shadow, he's going to find Taco. It's a two on three. This is doable now. SK have got to wait. There's not even a bomb plan yet. It's a two on five into a two on three. If they let this one go, I'm not sure that they're going to be able to recover the game at all. Are you waiting patiently, saying, all right, if you're going to be aggressive, let's just give you the rope to maybe hang yourselves with. Bomb finally goes down here in phase. Trying to make it out, but this is a one versus three. He's trapped in the corner. One good flick comes through. And the smoke there making their lives a bit tricky. Now they're going to go maybe try for the boost up on top. See if they get the timing down right. He's locked in the corner. There's no way out. They're going to come for him. An easy kill there for Cold Zero. Making it a double. Brave effort for Guardian. And certainly he's proven that he's, uh, he's a little bit dangerous in this game. But this was not meant to be. Really been a long time coming here for the Brazilian side. Now they're going to go for another big play towards the bomb side. Cold missing a shot and he's going to get taken down. 
There's nobody else there. That knight just hit Fur has to fall back, but he gets shot in the face. And what do they do? They ca if they can't lose these rifles, if they do that, they've got nothing left. They have money built up on Cold Zera, and Phelps, I think, should be able to drop one as well. So you save these guns. Nobody can die for SK if you want a strong buy into the next round. We say it all the time, the uppercut when you least expect it. Five man rush towards the B bomb site, making things simple, catching cold off guard of that AWP, misses his initial shot, and he's got no one there to slow down phase. Good kill from Phelps, but now they know his position. Not chasing quite yet. Not even sure they will. I think it'll just be Kerrigan trying to lurk over towards that A bomb site and try and catch someone off guard. I'm not sure if uh SK are going to be smiling at the irony just yet, but FaZe might just uh, just the fact that that's exactly what they tried to do when it was the other way around. Yeah. They knew that when you're down, when you're really, really stressed, just to be caught off guard like that, Cold Zero was. It's not happened very often. Nico gets a kill on Phelps at the end, so that's one more rifle taken away, which is an absolutely... Gonna try and get aggressive again. UMP this time, and this time it's fast towards the A bomb site. They might catch him in a boost. And there it is. Phelps right around the edge of the smoke. It's one, so does Fallen. Rain finally responding, but I think there might be too much damage, and Fallen still alive with the AWP. Knows exactly where Rain is. And it's like a shotgun. That's a 12th for SK, clawing themselves. Already looking on top of that smoke. Fur and Rain at a bit of a standoff. And there's a jump, but somehow Fur still wins it. I can't believe it. He's not supposed to have the advantage. That's so quick. I'd love to see that from his point of view. That's dirty. Guardian was waiting for him to wrap around the whole time. Rain was watching for the jump up. It's partly because when he jumps up on that box, his head is actually wedged against the ceiling. So he doesn't have the full arc of the jump. That's why his aim resets so fast. But still, that's unbelievably quick that he reacts to that. I would have thought Rain would have got that. I mean, small note as well, Phelps did a little bit of a shoulder peek into that smoke and just fired off some shots to try and be bait. Yes. I don't think it mattered. They were still looking at all those spots. It just didn't, didn't turn out their way in the end. Very small margins here once we get to the end of the game. 14 to 12. Cold is listening for anyone in Maine. If they make much noise, you can definitely hear that. Fur and Phelps are inside the bomb site, and they must hold on. We'll see how it goes. Phelps peering over, looking for anyone to give anything up. There's flashbangs out. Counter utility. Taco's now rotated over. That leaves Cold alone in mid. Olaf wins that battle. They can start getting pinched onto the site. So Phelps and Taco have to be careful. Here's Nico coming out the door. Everyone's blind, and it's Nico and Kerrigan coming out on top. Taco is here, though, and he's in a sneaky position. Yes, he is. No one's seen him yet. He has to get two big kills. They line up, but now he gets spotted. He's going to get one more kill. They almost get the triple, but... Instead, now Fallen, one versus two, and he's no idea hiding in the corner is all of Meister. He doesn't have any grenades to check it with either. He's going to make his way onto the side very quickly, and he does have a kit. Could force them out pretty quickly. There's one idea. Goes for the USP, but Kerrigan will take him. The off. I'm wondering if Taco thought he had dealt way more damage to that third player. Yeah, it could be. There's the scout, and the op's going to win in that battle. Opens things up, and now it's on. Cold Zero's got to hold him. Anyone's going to do it, it's him. But the shots go too high. Now Taco's got to make a play, and he can't do it either. This is FaZe. They're going to take this match. They're going to go 3-0 in the group stage. Yeah, there's just not enough utility and equipment here for the SK team. They could not hold on. I mean, you see the scout versus AWP may be the best example of just how uneven this final round, at least, was going to be for them. To it now, Phelps and Fur hoping for any kind of opening. Somebody rush in behind, get greedy, do anything that means we can get back in. But I think they know as well it's not happening. A flashbang coming through, and Fur just cancelling all of that. I think he got flashed as well, actually, from the other side. So time is running out. What a game it's been 16 12 as Faye.